Dancing on Ice is the show that has gripped the nation. Where else can you see sequin clab celebrities risk life and limb all in the name of public entertainment? Well, with me is one of the contestants and the favourite, if you ask me, Zoe Salmon. How are you doing? Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you think I am. Oh, I do. It's encouraging news. Um, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very good. Are you enjoying it? Do you know what? I'm absolutely loving it. It is the best thing that I've ever done. When I was growing up, I used to watch the Olympics and, and all the figure skating championships, and I was just obsessed with it. It's the only sport that I loved. I used to think it was like ballet on ice. I thought it was so graceful and so technical and so skilled, and, and I really wanted to do it, and I never got the chance. And then all these years later, I'm a grown-up, and I get a phone call asking me, oh, do you fancy some lessons with Torval and Dean and to be paired up with the professional? skater and oh my goodness I nearly bit their hand off I was like yes 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 um, and I'm really just living a childhood dream it's just amazing I love it so much it's like my new home is the ice rink <laughs> now Torval and Dean they're going to be an inspiration of course but probably the biggest inspiration on the ice is Todd Carty out of film do you know what he is an inspiration because honestly the amount of people watching it at home that maybe want to give ice dancing a go and they think oh no oh, I might not be any good at it Todd is there to say give it a go and you know you may end up as good if not better than Ray we just can't foretell anyone's journey and their potential you know now you've done some hypnotherapy as part of this tell me about that why did you do that I took some hypnotherapy because they thought it would be a good way of relaxing me before I go out to do the actual performance. It was all a bit weird for me because I love live shows because I enjoy live presenting. That has been my career for the past number of years and I love performing and, you know, I'm a real thespian at heart. So really, this whole dancing a nice experience should have been brilliant fun. And it is good fun, but I think the problem was that I was letting the whole... I can't ice skate get in the way so the hypnotherapy was just to try and make me relax so that I wasn't thinking about oh I've got to go out and do a perfect routine it was more about just go out and enjoy doing what you're able to do how scary is it doing all those lifts now don't get me wrong I love the lifts because they're dangerous and I'm a real daredevil but they hurt so much. The lifts are really, really painful because you've got to support your own weight and, you know, your partner. Sometimes they've got to place their hands really tightly around your ribs. And, and like, honestly, at one point I thought I'd broken a rib. I was in so much pain. So the lifts, it's, so, it's such a dichotomy because they look graceful and beautiful, but inside when you're smiling and making it look amazing, you're just going, ah! This is so painful. So I do love the lifts because they're fun, but they hurt. <laughs> One of the other contestants is fellow Irishman Donald McIntyre. He comes from south of the border, of course. How much are you both missing home? Donald and I really miss home. And it's really nice to have a fellow Irishman on the show because I hear the accent and it's like, oh, we feel as if you know we're in an ice rink in Ireland but it's great I mean the both of us can't wait when it all finishes just to take a trip back home and it's good because in 2009 I haven't really been back to Ireland and 2009 is going to be a cracker year to be there because you know you've got the 250th anniversary of the Guinness Door House and you've got lots of different anniversaries going on up and down the country so it's a good year I mean you literally can put a pin on the map of Ireland and wherever you put it down you're going to be near to to something that's really exciting and awesome that's happening in 2009 so it's a good year if you haven't been to get yourself over there maybe you'll see Donal or me <laughs> finally then if you don't win it perish the thought who is going to <laughs> I honestly think it's anybody's game you know this is very much a public competition yes the judges give 50% of our marks but the other 50% comes from you know people at home who have been entertained and who are going to pick up the phone and I think it's just all down to who entertains them most on the night you know we've seen really good skaters leave the competition so far so it's clear that the public maybe aren't looking for the best skater to win but who knows maybe they will I would put my money on anyone because I just don't have a clue every week I'm like oh, will I say will I go have they liked my performance have they not you know we just don't know we're all on tender hooks every week and and you know I'm just so thankful that I'm still in it at the minute so please continue to vote <laughs> Zoe thank you very much thank you very much